Okay, team, here's what's been happening on Ghost Rider. The facts. First, a strange band delivered a blue letter to Mr. Brinker, and Ghost Rider sent a message. Ghost Rider. Warning, copyright infringement. Next, Jamal had an argument with Brinker and decided to write him a note telling him to be nicer to his customers. He dropped it off at Brinker's store at about 7 o'clock. Then the trouble started. What happened? Well, last night at about 7 p.m., there was a fire that burned out the back room of Mr. Brinker's store. Jamal is in hot water. I betcha he's the one who burnt down my store. And the police are on the case. Now, here are some new facts from the last show. First, this video was made by that camera shooting at the door at about 7 o'clock last night. We think the person in this video is the one who set the fire. The police think Jamal might be the kid in the security video. Where were you last night at 7 o'clock? I, I went to the library. But help is on the way when Tina and Gabby start to make a video to clear Jamal. Uh, we're doing an investi in invest investigation. And a casebook to keep track of all the suspects and the evidence. While Alex and Jamal check out Ghost Rider's message, copyright infringement. When they looked it up, they found out it means it's against the law to sell something that someone else has made, unless you get their permission. Then, Lenny talked to Jamal about the note she found at Brinker's. That was you in the video, wasn't it? But there were other people there. There are kids playing with firecrackers. One of them had on a blue bandana. And there was a guy dropping off packages. He could have set that fire easily. Can Ghost Rider and the team take the heat off Jamal? And who really burned down Mr. Brinker's store? Could it be the man who delivered the blue letter to Mr. Brinker? He said he had a 6.30 plane to Washington, D.C. Fire started at 7. If he had a 6.30 flight, there's no way he could have said it. That means he has an alibi. But what about the kid in the security video? We know that was Jamal. Then there's the kid with the firecrackers. And the mysterious man Jamal saw delivering boxes to Brinker's. Get a pencil in your casebook out and keep track of the clues, because the Ghost Rider team is on the case. This note is the last thing they're going to need to prove I was there. This note? Oh, man. Is this evidence? I don't think I should have this. This has to do with the law. I have to give this to the police. No, you can't. Don't nail me for sure. But, Jamal, it's the law. I have to go check out those other people. Look, you do what you have to do with that note. But I'm not going to ask you to do something that's wrong. I'm just asking you, just give me a little bit more time. You got me in trouble. You got me in trouble, and you think you're such hot stuff. You can be so cool. You try to act so strong. You can be so cool, you try to act so strong. I can see through your eyes, gotta know what's wrong. Tell it to me straight, there's nothing to fear. I wanna be your friend, but it's gotta be clear. You're putting something down. Yo, that's not right. There's something wrong. That's no way to be when friends are tight. Hey! Hey, I just want to talk to you. Hey, Jamal. Oh, hi, Craig. Hey, um, did you see this guy with the blue bandana? No, I didn't see anybody. Why, what's up? Craig, you ever been blamed for something you didn't do? Yeah, what's going on? You know Brinker's store? Yeah, yeah, there was a fire there last night. Wait a minute, they think you said it? Yeah. I mean, I didn't set it, but, um, my friends and I, we're trying to find out who did. Man, 
Hey, maybe I can help you out. Thanks. You know, you played good out there today. I bet Momo will let, let you on his team. Really? Yeah. No, I mean what I said before, man, about helping you out. If there's anything I can do, tell me. Thanks, man. You know, that means a lot. I'll catch you at school. As soon as we have the person on that videotape, we'll have our villain, and he won't be setting any more fires. OK, let's keep piecing this together. After Lieutenant McQuaid, we'll cut to you saying, now here are some of our suspects. Then we'll cut to the cabbie, him, talking about that man he took to see Mr. Brinker yesterday. Yeah, but that guy's not a suspect anymore. He took a 6.30 plane to Washington, D.C. No way he could have set the fire at 7. But he had the letter that made Mr. Brinker mad. It's still evidence. Then I've got to say, now here's some evidence. Not suspects. Yeah, that fits better. We can use these shots of Mr. Brinker's door before we cut... What's this? It's a movie! I knew it! Mr. Brinker told me it was new, but it wasn't. But it doesn't say it's, it's a movie on the box. There's no label. doings. What's going on? All right! How did that happen? Tina, we got to talk. Hi, Grandma. All right. Jamal, come here for a minute, please. Yes, ma'am. I've been hearing a lot of different things about what happened last night. Now I want it direct from you to me. What happened? Well, you see, I wrote a note to Mr. Brinker. And on the way home from the library, I dropped it off at his store. A video camera took my picture. And since it was when the fire started, the police think I did it. But they're not positive it was me in the video, so I kind of lied and said it, it wasn't. But, Grandma, I didn't set any fire. There wasn't even a fire when I was there. This the note? How'd you get this? I gave it to her. Honey, what are you doing here? I didn't know what to do, especially after I found out you lied. I had to show it to somebody. Lenny, I was scared. You heard him. If I told him the truth, they would have arrested me. It's wrong to lie, Jamal, and it makes you look guilty, even when you're not. So what can I do? There's only one thing to do. Your parents will be back Monday afternoon. You come straight home from school and tell them the truth. And they'll go down to the police station with you and work this out. You hear me? Jamal, it's the only way. Yes, ma'am. Besides, this note is so reasonable, it's bound to prove you didn't do it. Lenny, I'm sorry I lied to you. It was stupid. You're right. It was. See you around. Thanks a lot, Mrs. Jenkins. Sure, sweetheart. Well, don't look at me. She's right.
don't know where it came from. We don't know why it's here. He could even be a she. All we know is that he speaks us to talk to, and I speak to you. How do you know? Because we're the only ones who see his words. You saw them in the video room. So that means he wants you on the team. He sees things, but he can't hear and he can't talk. If you want to talk to him, you have to write it out, because he can read anything. What is he? Is he here now? Where did he come from? This is an official Ghost Rider pen. We all have one. We use it to communicate with Ghost Rider anytime, any place. But you have to promise never to tell anybody about Ghost Rider. Okay, I promise. Great. Welcome to the team. All right. Yeah. 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 All right. Ask Ghost Rider your questions. Okay. trying to help us figure out what happened at Brinker's. Really? How? He can read things, things we might not even know about. Like, um, any new ideas? On the fire? What does that mean? I don't know, but it's another clue. Putting in my Facebook. This is unbelievable. I'm sorry. Sometimes he doesn't understand the words we use. It means. Investigation. Headquarters in Washington, D.C. Hey, Gabby! The guy who gave Brinker that letter. Where'd he take a plane to? It's in my case, but look it up. Six thirty plane to Washington, D.C. Hey, Gabby! What is it? I don't know yet. Tell Mom I'll be right back. See, he knows you can play well. Just give him a little respect in. He'll let you in. Yeah, all stop, bro. Yo, what's up, Craig? Come on, man. I 
Siga. Eu quero que você mate ele, né? There you are. We've been looking for you. Hey, look. Craig's playing basketball on Momo's team. Well, listen, I've just found something. Yeah, I was reading about the FBI, and guess what? Their headquarters is in Washington, D.C. Yeah, so? Remember that day at Brinkers, when the guy with the letter dropped off that business card? Yeah. And Tina and Gabby found out that when he left the store, he took a plane to Washington. So you think that guy was FBI? Like, um, uh, agent or something? Could be. Sure fits. So what was he doing in Mr. Brinker's store? Oh, boy. Uh, um... Oh. Good morning, Lieutenant McQuaid. Mr. Brinker. Show up. What's going on? Uh, I don't know. Show me what. Is this your cap? His name in it? It is. Look at his face. Yeah, but if his name isn't in it, you don't have any proof. Are you gonna listen to these kids? Is this your cap, Jamal? Uh, yeah, it, it's mine. Put the cuffs on him. No, look. I left that cap in Mr. Brinker's this Friday afternoon. But I don't know how it got into that back room. Why don't you guys quit picking on Jamal and find out who really set that fire? You can't arrest him anyway. You can't? No, it's just circumstantial evidence. Circum what? Circumstantial evidence. It means even though it's true, it doesn't prove positively that you did it. Cool. Yeah, all you have is circumstantial evidence. Are you gonna listen to this? Actually, he's right. We can't prove anything with what we have. I don't believe it. Look, kid, you gotta help me out. You seem like a nice kid, but all the arrows are pointing right at you. Call me if you can find something that can help get you off, Jamal. Jamal, I'll be in touch. Guys, I think it's time we rally. I hear you. Absolutely. Cool. What's a rally? Um, sorry, Craig. That's kind of a secret between me and my friends, you know? No, I'm um, outsiders, man. I'm sorry. Oh, OK. Sorry. It's OK. Hey, Craig. Thanks. You bailed me out. Sure, any time. I feel bad. He's a good guy. Yeah, but you know the rules. If Goldschweiter doesn't write to him, he's not on the team. Yeah. Let's do it. Now call this rally to order. Ghost rally! Guys, this is serious. The police aren't looking for anybody else. They're just trying to find more clues to prove I set the fire. So let's look at our evidence. Yeah, we've got some good stuff. Wait. I wasn't telling you guys the whole truth. That was me in the video at Brinker's. What? I wanted to get him to lighten up on us, so I wrote this note and I dropped it off. Why didn't you tell us? Oh, great. Another problem. This is getting more confusing all the time. Hey, this is a really good note. I can't believe it. We've been working together this whole time, and you didn't tell me? Hold it. Settle down. 
It's easy to be mad. I sure was at first. But now, I think I understand why he did it. I'm sorry. I know I should have been honest with you. I'm going to take that note to the police tomorrow. I wish I had done that in the first place. I really need your help. But I understand if you don't want to. I'm with you. I'm with you. Me too. Same for me. Thanks, guys. Okay. Does anyone have any suspects? Well, we've got one left. The kid in the video. But if that was Jamal, no more suspects. I've got a couple of suspects. I'm going to start a new list for everybody. First of all, there's a guy making deliveries in the back of Brinker's store. He was there at 7 o'clock, right when they say the fire started. His truck said, Tony Central Park video. Gabby and I can interview him for our video. Great. And there's a kid playing with firecrackers. He took off on his dirt bike. I saw him again today, but I couldn't catch him in time. They found firecrackers behind Mr. Banker's store. Maybe it was him. Look for a kid wearing a light blue bandana and riding a dirt bike. I think he's our man. Maybe Mr. Brinker burned his store himself. For insurance or something. He's got an alibi. He was at a school meeting at 7, remember? Alex, tell him about the uh, copyright infringement stuff. Ghostwriter sold these on some letter that a guy gave to Brinker. It had FBI and copyright infringement. We think the guy with the blue letter was an FBI agent, checking out something illegal that was going down at Brinker's. But what? What would the FBI look for at Brinker's? I bought this at Mr. Brinker's. It was supposed to be blank. But when we played it, there was a movie on it. Co-starter said. Videos are key. Let me show this to that new guy, Craig. He knows a lot about electronics and video stuff. Anything else? Ghost Rider! Trouble. Arrest warrant number 2240474. Arrest warrant? Ghost Rider must be reading this at the police station. Subject, Jamal Jenkins. Charge, arson. Uh-oh. Arrest, ordered and authorized, 9-12. September 12th. But that's tomorrow. They're really going to do it. They're going to arrest me tomorrow. What about circumstantial evidence? Guess they think that's enough. Guys, you've got to find out who did this. Or I'm going to jail. <laughs>